Joseph YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Steve Harvey believes a woman doesn't have to bring anything to the table other than, can you guess, herself. Herself. That is all. Hear me, guys. This is a video that had to happen. It had to happen in response to what I witnessed and so many others just recently because this video has been posted literally everywhere. No more wasting time. Everyone, I give you Steve Harvey. Let's get it. That's what's wrong with this generation today. What's wrong? These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? Mm. The hell you mean, man? What do you bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? Mm. What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That's our damn job. There you guys go. That's a snippet right there that's been taking the internet by storm. But I have to remind you guys something. This is the coffee pot. So I need to know where are my baristas? Where are all my baristas, man? If you've been watching my content for a while, go ahead and leave some coffee emojis in the comment section down below. If you are an official coffee drinker, right, you've been watching the content for a while, I'm going to be getting some memberships coming up soon. Go ahead and leave some coffee emojis down below because you are, my friend, you are a barista. And to make it official, you will have an opportunity to become a channel member. Now, with that being said, let's get back to Steve Harvey and what exactly was said. First things first, if you think Steve Harvey is a simp, hit that like button, man. <laughs> hit that like button if you think Steve Harvey is a simp. We're going to break this video down and we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing because Steve Harvey wants men, young men in specific, this generation of men. And man, if you're under the age of whatever Steve Harvey's age is, you probably would be considered younger in Steve's eyes. But let's break down what he said. What he basically implied in this video is... A woman doesn't have to bring anything to the table. In short, he pretty much said she is the table, roughly translated. What she brings without bringing any tangible value at all should be enough for you to want to take care of her. But in case you missed it, we're going to listen to it one more time just to make sure ears were hearing right. It's only 30 seconds. That's what's wrong with this generation today. Mm -hmm. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do you? bring to the table. You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That's our damn job. Okay, guys, we heard it twice and you heard it for yourself. Steve Harvey says it is a man's job to take care of that woman it is your job to provide for her the biggest problem with this message isn't that it's not true the biggest problem is that it's partly true partly true and that's how they get you that's how they get you to believe a lie to drink tea to not be aware and to accept a bad deal it sounds good good enough that you can almost miss what's actually missing in this message and that is this if a man's expected to provide for his woman what's a woman expected to do that's the problem here and in steve harvey's words absolutely nothing she's supposed to just bring herself and if you've ever wondered why modern women today are entitled think they think they deserve the world have to do minimum work to get what they want out of life they all outrank themselves and their value not personal value, right? God loves you, yes. But they overvalue themselves on the dating market in relation to the men that they want. How did they become this way? You're looking at one of the main promoters of that type of mindset that modern women have today. Yes, Steve Harvey, unfortunately, when he comes to this conversation of modern day dating, intersexual dynamics, etc., he is not part 
of the solution, but instead is part of the problem. Convincing these women, think about this, bro, that she literally doesn't have to do anything. That's what she gets from this. Nothing for you at all while you expected to fulfill your traditional role. Don't believe me? Check out a few of these comments from the Shade Room who was quick to share this and it kind of backfired for them because if you go check their comments out now, they're getting called out for their shit, not them in particular, but I'm talking about the people in the comment section like this chick who says, if you can't afford to be a provider, just say that. These comments are pressed. And so this woman is referring to the men in the comment section who are calling Steve Harvey out for his stance on this particular topic. And she's saying, well, to the people who think this isn't right, the idea that a woman should just bring herself and you should provide for it, and she shouldn't bring anything of value to the table. It's because you're broke. But may I remind you guys that these are the same women who want equal opportunity, cool, equal pay, cool, want to make the same amount of money as you, cool, but you're expected to pay for all the bills while she spends her money on vacations, on um, what's uh, getting her nails done, buying new clothes. Make it make sense. Do you want to be a man or do you want to be a woman? Do you want to be a traditional woman or do you want to be a modern woman? What they want is a traditional man while they embrace a modern woman mindset. It's not so much what Steve Harvey says, but it's what he won't say. Steve Harvey will not go against his female audience. He won't. Why? Because he doesn't want to F up that money. He's been going at this for so long. He knows his female audience. All you got to do is lie to him. All you got to do is serve up a little bit of tea. They'll take it. And he's artful at doing this. Check out this other clip of him turning a question that has to do with women claiming that they don't need men. He, he switches it and makes it about how you need a woman in your life and you can't survive or live without her. Check it out. What happens to the, when the woman tell you, I don't need a man, Steve? Like, okay, if you don't, how that's working? <laughs> how that's working? Who don't need no man? I'm independent. I can do for myself. Yeah, but why do you want to? Yeah, okay, you can drop a transmission. You can sandblast your house. But hell, do you want to? No. If I somebody agree. could get out there and drop this transmission for you and sandblast your house, why don't you go get your nails done? I'm not trying to reduce a woman to nothing else. Be all you can be. Here it comes. All of a sudden, he, he realizes that, oh, let me not speak too much truth. I am not trying to reduce a woman to nothing else. Be all you can be. Hey, don't forget, you can be strong and independent. Here we go now. Remember the question. I'm sorry, guys, I have to do this. Remember the question is, what do you think of women who say that they don't need a man? Here's how he pivots it to pander to his audience. But damn, who don't need a man? That's a lie. What man don't need a woman? I tell you what, try to live without her. Try to live your life without women. This some bullshit without women. If it wasn't for women, what would you? Aristotle Onassis said it best. He said if women did not exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. Look at that. I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> As a man with experience right there, right? Able to change and pivot the conversation so that it matches his um, agenda. Let's check out another comment here from another woman in response to that video, that first video that we saw where Steve Harvey says, you know, a woman doesn't have to bring anything to the table besides herself. She says, greatest gift a woman can give a man is a child. Or worst gift, depending on the woman he has the child with, whether she lets him see the child, whether she puts him on child support, could be a curse, yes. Goes on to say, let it be a son. Oh, she top tier. Okay, so it's top tier if it's a son. Then she gonna multiply everything else cause she's gonna inspire you to be your best while also being hers. A lot of people like to think men who are married are inspired to make more money. Why? Because they do. They don't make money because they're looking at their woman and they're going, oh, you inspire me so much. Now, does a good woman inspire their man? Yes, that's not usually the driving force behind it. Men who have families and are breadwinners of a household, they make more money because they have to. They make more money because there's no other choice. It's either your family struggles and declines and dies, or you get up in the morning and figure your way out of a situation. That's why a guy who may not see marriage in the future may not be so motivated to pursue um, a career that's going to pay him more money and take on that stress that comes along with it. 
but it just simply comes down to the demand for more income in a lot of men's uh, situations. She goes on to say, this type of woman is a multiplier a nurturer, a healer, but y'all men don't provide safe environments for this type of woman because too many of y'all are operating in feminine energy, worrying about what she got and what she bring to the table. <laughs> All of a sudden, this dude, these, these women are turning into coffee drinkers now. Oh, embrace your masculine energy. So what should they, who should they go listen to then and and what information should they consume for them to embrace their masculine energy because the the men who are out here talking about this you guys are trying to shut them down get them canceled etc right the type of mindset a man needs to be in to be out here and be successful and competitive you don't like those type of men who are out here promoting that type of mindset they're toxic right toxic masculinity but anyways a um, whole lot of craziness. Uh, where were we? Right, here we are. She goes on to say, forcing her to operate in her masculine. Evolution is here and women have no problem being providers slash contributors. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Women have a problem with being breadwinners. Why? Because whenever a woman is paying majority of the bills, she's doing what? Complaining about it. She's complaining about it, wondering what's going on and calling men lazy. I mean, that's exactly what this chick is doing in this comment. She's doing the exact same thing. There are actual studies that prove that a woman getting a promotion in a job contributes to her chances of leaving that man and getting a divorce, the possibility of her making more money, etc. When a woman earns money, she thinks, I can do better for myself. When a man earns money, he thinks, well, let me start a family. Let me see how I can distribute this wealth, etc. Women do have a problem being providers and contributors. So this idea that women are adapting and um, um, making things work. Sure, are they being forced to go to work? Yeah, and what are they doing while they go? On medication, complaining, creating TikToks. Look at my catalog. Goes on to say, but what we bring to the table is priceless in every way. No, it's not. It's not priceless. There's definitely a price that can be put on it. And a lot of you women's price is too high. There's another comment from another woman that says, thank you, Unc Steve. Because boy, them boys love asking for money. So do you want an, a, a world of equality where men can ask you for money or do you not? I mean, we all know what the answer is, but I'm just here to remind you that these would be the same women who be like, oh, um, women deserve equal pay, etc." As women make more money, I think like 40% of women this year became breadwinners in, in the majority of families and, and like households. How do you think they, they're um, handling that? Do you think that they're proud for their financial achievements? Or do you think uh, they're looking at their men like they're underperforming? <laughs> Here's another comment from another woman that says, sounds about right. The men provide and the women nurture. Okay, so this is the same thing. Do you want to be a traditional woman or do you want to be a modern woman? If you want to be a traditional woman, then if you make the same amount of money that your man does, give him all your money and let him make the financial decisions. Goes on to say, it's a fair trade-off to me but the men don't want to hear it in 2023. They don't want to hear it because as we've encouraged women to be strong, independent, financially successful, they have done what? They've increased their financial expectations for what they consider economically attractive when it comes to the men that they deal with. Before, if you had a job and she didn't work, it was cool. Not saying that's how things should be, I'm saying it made sense to a lot of women back then because they're like, well, he works and um, I don't want to work because I want to stay at home, take care of the kids, etc. But now women want it both ways. You want to be a boss, babe, earn money, and you're making all this money and you don't realize that the more money you make, the more difficult it will be for you to find a man who you find economically attractive. Why? Because the more money you make, the slimmer the percentages of the uh, men who you find attractive, right? That top 10, 5% of men. Here's another comment in response to Steve Harvey from another man who says, economy was different in the 1800s. These days, rent higher than blood pressure. LOL, that is true. Um, another comment here says, the things a woman bring to the table can't even be calculated, honestly. It can't be measured. A woman should not be measured by what she provides you because she's so wonderful that you can't look at her and say, you know what? You're not wifey material. They want you to think like that. No. 
<laughs> Wake up, drink some coffee. This next female commenter says, exactly. Talk to him, Steve. I'm tired of the sassy men. Another commenter here added, rich man versus broke man mentality. In parentheses, she says, and rich isn't always money. The mindset. It's all money. It's all money if you're gonna if you're gonna call it rich man versus broke man mentality. It comes down to money in actual practice. See, the reason why these women are talking about rich men versus broke man mentality is because they are all waiting for a man who's rich to finally submit down to that man. That man has so many options, so many women who are fighting for a chance to be with him. You do not even qualify. Do you qualify for the cheeks? Yes. He will smash, right? Fast, not slow. Make sure you get your fast, not slow hoodies. But are you going to be considered for marriage, especially when you think that you don't have to do anything? This is crazy. Bro, I can't believe these are conversations that are had today. I can't believe these are conversations that I had today. Here's another comment from another woman that says, um, in the comments, you can see who's a boy and who's a man right here. Shaming tactics, same old, same old thing. All right, now we're going to look at some comments from some baristas. Of course, these comments are brought to you from What's Brewing Official. Um, follow us on Instagram. These are some coffee addict baristas. They're going to tell you like it is and speak the honest truth. Our first comment here comes from a gentleman. He says, he's the reason, in reference to Steve Harvey, why relationships and marriages are dying. 56 likes. And another person responded back. That comment says, all is advice. Think like a man, etc." just bad all around i agree another comment here from another person says simp pander bear harvey this next comment says i found it hilarious these old simps thinking the game is the same as when they were young women out racking bodies like killmonger <laughs> um we are not the same mr harvey yeah 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 the idea that every woman deserves a man who's gonna slave away and provide for her regardless of her past etc now should you do that for a good woman? Yes, guys, I'm in a relationship. I am engaged, right? Now, I encourage men when I say that, I have to always say, like, I encourage you to not sign papers. I always say that you should protect yourself if you're a man who values marriage. I have to say that because guys will hear this, and there's a lot of guys who hear this who want a family and kids, and they know that a two-parent household works best. You got to protect yourself. Avoid signing those papers if you can, or do a prenup. Do something, right? Because it is still a risk. But of course, I treat my woman well of course i provide for my woman and you best believe that she's well taken care of and she earned it now do 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 do, do these chicks out here deserve that <sighs> yeah here's another comment from another man that says traditional thinking and modern women do not mix unfortunately yes another commenter says she can make another you yeah sure but not without my input into the creation of the child can't count something you can get from any woman as something she brings to the table sorry not sorry Ooh, that's true and so think of this mindset of every woman is valuable but every man is not it's based on whether you, on what you bring and what you um, bring to the table not who you are that's the simp mentality just because you're a woman oh right bow down but for men bro you got to do better you got to do better right Here's another comment from another person, LMAO. Guys, don't listen to men like this. He's marketing towards the female audience. Yep. Another comment says, got another comment here from another gentleman that says, Steve Harvey is the intergalactic head of simps. Mercy. I think he comes from the planet of simp. LV999. Um, another comment here reads, she can't make another me without me, sir. He needs to try that again. Another comment here, here added, Steve just don't care, especially after two divorces. Yeah, he's going to get his money, right? You look at somebody by the by the fruits of their labor. And I'm just saying, take a good look at his family. Here's another comment that says he has to be the biggest reason a lot of these 40 plus year old women think they still choose. Another comment here says inflation. Steve, now say it with me. This ain't the 70s or 80s. Another comment here. We got a bunch of comments. Uh, that says that's why his stepdaughter slash daughter is a runner. He is simp. Men, until we form a council, leave him alone. Kevin tried and y'all tucked your tails. Here's another comment that says, I mean, that's 
how you keep your base watchers. Two more final comments. This one reads, so what was the point of his Think Like a Man book? Really not surprised though. Look at his family. Ooh. And finally, this last comment says, why you think he's rich? Telling them what they want to hear and selling books and all that. Derek Jackson was caught red-handed and still women go to his courses because he's telling them stuff they want to hear. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> but with all this said, there were a couple of women who did speak out and notice that information that uh, Steve Harvey provides is a little bit outdated and maybe they visit the coffee shop once in a while, right? Um, here are a few women who maybe might sip, you know, they, 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 they might F with the coffee a little bit. First comment says they don't have Steve Harvey money. I don't knock a man that's trying. Also, don't feel right telling someone it's 100% their job to take care of me. That was my parents job to raise me up to take care of myself help should be a bonus not a necessary and i think one thing to remember is our economy was not made for one parent households for one person to be taking care of a family financially here's another comment that says this is very outdated mindset the perfect example is that there's a lot of women giving birth yet they're not wives and this is exactly what you will never hear steve harvey say why because he believes as long as you can have a child, you are a wife, wife material. She goes on to say, men are very aware that they need more, LOL. And guys, that's about it as far as the female coffee drinkers. Listen, as always, I'm Kirshner. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.